You know, he was a coach so good, you thought he was there forever, but what John Robinson provided to the California football aesthetic cannot be denied. Unfortunately, he passed away on Remembrance Day, on November 11, 2024, after a short illness. Uh, in his uh, 89 years, Robinson was a role model, was a, uh, as a motivator, probably one of the most underrated coaches of all time. He was best known for his two stints as head coach of USC from 76 to 82 and from 93 to 97, and for his tenure as head coach for the LA Rams in their uh, playoff uh, runs from the early 1980s to the early 1990s. Robinson's USC teams won four Rose Bowls, a capture share of a national championship in a 78 campaign. Robinson is one of the few college head coaches that have non-consecutive tenure at the same school. In 2009, he was elected to the College Football Hall of Fame. Now, John Alexander Robinson was born in Chicago on July 25, 35. He moved to Provo, Provo, Utah at 6 and did the Daily City, California at 9, where he attended Catholic parochial school with future Pro Football Hall of Famer John Madden and our later perpetual help. Graduated in 1950 and Junipero Serra High School, graduating 54. Now, he attended the University of Oregon, where he played tight end on Oregon's 58 Rose Bowl squad. Now, Robinson began his coaching career at the University of Oregon as an AC, his alma mater, where he served under Len Casanova and Jerry Fry from 60 to 71. Robinson then served as USC's offensive coordinator from 72 to 74 under head coach John McKay, who had been an AC at Oregon when Robinson played there. During this three-year stretch, the Trojans won 31-3-2, winning three Pac-8 conference titles and appearing in three Rose Bowls, winning two of them with a pair of national titles. Robinson then led USC to serve as the Raiders' running backs coach in 75, rejoining Madden, who was by, by then Oakland's head coach. That season, the Raiders went 11-3 and reached the AFC title game, where he lost 16-10 and a heartbreaker to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, in 76, when McKay left USC to coach the Tampa Bay Bucks. Robinson was named to succeed him. Robinson would coach at USC from 76-82, during which he led the Trojans to three consecutive titles and five bowl games. He won the Rose Bowl in the 76, 78, and 79 seasons, finishing number two in the AP poll all three years. USC also earned a coaches' poll national title in 78. Following the 82 campaign, he stepped down as head coach with a record of 67-14-2 over seven campaigns. Now hired to replace Ray Malavesi prior to the 83 NFL season, Robinson is considered one of the most successful coaches in Rams history, leading the franchise to the playoffs in six of his first seven seasons and twice reaching the NFC title game. Both of these contests ended the defeat against eventual Super Bowl champs, the 85 Bears and the 89 San Francisco 49ers. Robinson's tenure as Rams coach was made more difficult by the fact that the Rams played in the same division as the 49ers, the dominant team of the night in the 1980s. The only time he won an NFC West title during his tenure was 85. However, he had great success in importing his trademark running game after using the number two overall pick in the 83 NFL draft to draft running back Eric Dickerson. In just over four seasons with the Rams, Dickerson ran for 7,245 yards and led the league in rushing three times with his 1984 total of 2,105 yards, still an NFL record going into 2022. After Dickerson was traded midway through the 87 season, Robinson's Rams still had the league's rushing leader, Charles White, while Greg Bell continued Robinson's running tradition with back-to-back 1,000-yard seasons in 88 and 89. Additionally, Robinson introduced to the league a group of highly respected ACs, including Norm Turner, Hudson Hulk, and Jill Haskell, all of whom would go on to have long and productive NFL coaching careers. Now, following the Rams' 30-3 loss in the 89 NFC title game, the squad went into a decline. After a 5-11 season in 1990 and their 3-13 mark in 91, uh, Robinson was fired by the Rams, though his 79 career victories remained the most in franchise history until Sean McVay surpassed him in 2024. Now, after spending several seasons in radio and TV broadcasting, <coughs> he returned to the sidelines in 93 with USC. In his second stint with the Trojans, the squad won three straight bowl games, including the 96 uh, uh, annual Classic. Though Robinson never finished with a losing season at USC, his mark of 37-21-2, including a 3-6-1 mark against traditional rivals Notre Dame and UCLA in his second stint, led to tension, and by the 97 season, 96-97, he just won 12 or 23 games combined. Now, Robinson was also at odds with Athletic Director Mike Garrett, 
On December 1797, he was fired by answering machine. He was then replaced by Paul Hackett. Now, two years later, Robinson was hired to coach football at UNLV. Robinson won his first two games in Las Vegas, the second coming at Baylor, where the Rebels won despite entering the game's final play down by three points and not possessing the ball. The Rebels finished 3-8 and eight in Robinson's first year. The Rebels rebounded to win eight games in 2000, including a 31-14 victory over Arkansas, Arkansas in the Las Vegas Bowl. Robinson's only bowl appearance with the running Rebels was that contest. In 2003, Robinson was chosen as the university's athletic director, but he stepped down from that position a year later to concentrate on the coaching position. In 2003, he was inducted into the Rose Bowl Hall of Fame. Despite being relieved of duty as athletic director, he resigned after going 2-9 uh, in his final season in 2004. Now, in 2010, he returned to coaching as defensive coordinator at San Marcos High School in San Marcos, California, having never before coached at a high school level. With Robert Robinson's uh, assistance, the Knights went 4-7 and seven and reached the CIF San Diego section football playoffs. Now, in July 2019, Robinson joined the LSU football program as a senior, senior consultant to head coach Ed Orgeron. He remained at possession through the tw- 2021 season. Now, Robinson became a three-decade-long association with Sports USA Radio Network in 98, and as of 30 years, uh, 20, 30 years later, served as a color analyst for a network. He was a board member for the Lot Impact Trophy, which is named after the Pro Football Hall of Fame defensive back Ronnie Lott, and is awarded annually College Football's Defensive Impact Player of the Year. Now, his son, David Robinson, is also a coach, and he has been a defensive coordinator for the Fullerton College Hornets football program. He had played in Fullerton's 83 national title team. Now, David also worked for his father as an AC in six bowl games, most notably the 95 Cotton Bowl and the 96 Rose Bowl. Now, Robinson later resided in Enceladus, California. Unfortunately, he died of complications of pneumonia in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, on November 11, 2024, at the age of 89. Now, uh, his record in college in 76, he won the Rose Bowl with a 7 0 uh, uh, conference and 11 1 overall record, won the Astro Blue Bottle of the Bowl in 77, then the Rose Bowl in 78 and 79, then the Freedom, Cotton, and Rose, 93 to 95 won the Las Vegas Bowl with UNLV in 2000. Now, uh, he's a uh, record at USC, 105, 35, and 4, at uh, UNLV, 28, and 42. So a uh, total of 132 wins, 77 losses, and uh, four uh, ties. And again, conference champions uh, uh, several times. Now, in the NFL, the regular season uh, with the Rams, made the playoffs six out of seven years. Uh, nine and seven, nine eighty three, then ten and six, eleven and five, ten and six, six and nine, ten and six, eleven and five, five and eleven, three and thirteen. Overall, seventy five and sixty eight. Uh, first place in the NFC West in uh, eighty five. Second place in the NFC West, of course, against the Forty Nine ers, uh, five times, and again uh, the uh, uh, eighty three. He lost to the Redskins in a divisional game. 84, lost to the Giants in a wildcard game. Uh, in 85, lost to the Bears in his NFC title game after beating Dallas in the first round. 86, lost to the Redskins in a wildcard game. Uh, LA uh, lost to Minnesota in a wildcard game. And he won two playoff games in, in 89, but lost to the 49ers in the NFC title game. Overall in the postseason, four victories, uh, six losses. So ladies and gentlemen, a big loss for uh, pro and college football. John Robinson was always... A tremendous, tremendous wealth of information, but his connection to all the great air of USC makes him as important to USC as uh, O.J. Simpson was. Uh, what a what a coach, what a what a motivator, and what a man. We're going to miss him at 89. A good life lived. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you're doing here with our college vintage uh, tribute podcast, let us know with a like, comment, subscribe, or share.